Good day viewers, welcome to the 124th episode of Irongo Talk. I am Otis, your host at the coast, joining you from Godenfang here in Wolfish Bay. Today we celebrate Area Code Day. So, shout out to all the fans in the 264. Yes, I bring you the news, weather, the tides and also tells you where the fish bites. We feature an interview with the mayor of Usakos, Aksar Mwafangeyo. Stay tuned, we will be back in a moment. Het is dinsdag en ons doen dinge anders en in Afrikaans. Op Karibib sê een van die 27 begunstigdes van die Ngatu Konje Pamwe Tengo project, uh, mevrouw Engelaar Dien Sperling, sê is optimistisch dat die initiatief die toets sal weerstaan en uiteindelijk een betekenisvolle inpak vir sy lede, sowel as die gemeenskap gaan he. Die project het sy ontstaan te danke aan die QKR Navagap Main, wat een stuk grond geskenk het. Die municipaliteit voorsien water en andere maatschappijen verskaf ook ondersteuning. Aan die begin van oktober 2019 is milie, stematies, spanaties, spanspek en vatlemoene geplant. Die eerste gewasse is reeds geoes en met die geel wat verdien is, is saad en plaagbeheermiddels aangekoop. Daar is toe weer gewasse soos kool, rooibeet, wortels, eie, milies en spanasie geplant sowel as pisang, papaya, avocado pere en appelbome. Volgens meneer Leslie Gorasep, die uitvoerende hoofd van Karibibse Stadsraad, is een doelgerichte besluit geneem om stedelijke landbouwbezighede op en in die omliggende dele van die dorp te vestig. Een volledige dorpsgebied met 35 erwe wat opgemeet is vir die specifieke doel is beskikbaar gesteld. Belanghebbers soos die Navagap Goudmijn is genader en het 350.000 Namibiese dollar geskenk. Die municipale raad het die grond voorsien en ook die tuin omheen. Navagap het toe toilet geriewe, huisvesting vir die opzichter en ook sade verskaf. Belanghebbers in stedelike landbouwboerderijen is ook genooi om met die municipaliteit in verbinding te tree. Onderhoude is gehou met die oog om 35 erwe van tussen 8 en 40 hektar groot aan suksesvolle kandidaten toe te ken. Die project is daarop gemik om voedselsekuriteit en werksverskaffing op die dorp te ondersteun. Nog een maatskapie wat met die agentskap vir nuiverheidsontwikkeling in Namibia Nida saamwerk, het ook een blaarslaai project op Karibib op die been gebring. En die producte is reeds op ook se winkelrakke. Nou gaan kyk ons een bykie in Omaruru, waar die dorpsraad nou beskik oor een noodreddingstasie, wat uh, na dit uh, brandweerwater waarde van ongeveer 3.5 miljoen Namibiese dollar ontvang het. Die uitvoerende hoof, meneer Alfons Chitombo, het in een voorlegging oor die implementering van kapitaalprojekte in lijn met die strategische plan van die dorp vir 2018 tot 2022 gesê, die oprichting van die noodreddingstasie het een dubbele doel. Eerstens is dit een vinnige noodreaksie eenheid wat toegeris is met die jaws of life en kan dit ook reddingsoperaties binnen een radius van 60 km lever. Tweedens verseker die stasie dat toerusting nie aan die elemente blootgesteel gaan word nie. En then finally a bit of haben news. The Namibian Ports Authority Namport will be hosting its first ever webinar. Six expert panelists will tackle the topic Namibia, cargo and transshipment gateway for hinterland and landlocked countries in the SADC region. They will discuss strategies implemented by container ports and shipping in a challenging environment in a bid to enhance the Southern African development community economy and maritime support. This webinar takes place on Wednesday at 11. Visit our website www.irongo.com.na for the registration details. You can also read detailed versions of the stories we talked about in today's show 
on our website at www.irongo.com.na and that brings us to the end of our new segment today. We are in the presence of uh, the mayor of Usakos, Mr. Asar uh, Shudeni Mafan Keyu. Yes. How are you, sir? I'm very well. How are you, sir? I'm good. Uh, yes. Thank you for allowing us into your town. How are things here in uh, Usakos? Yeah, thank you very much for making time to visit our town. Uh, you are very much welcome. All right, now, uh, things are good, even though not that good as we always wished. Yes. Yes. Uh, how have uh, COVID-19 impacted your town, sir? You know, uh, COVID-19, even though when it started, it started far away from us. And then uh, when it came, it came somehow as a surprise because we did not expect the, the, the impact that we currently experience as a result of COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 has um, impacted us in a very negative way, in the sense that uh, a lot of our people have lost jobs. Yes. Businesses slowed down. It, it somehow almost brought the economy of Usakos to a standstill. Sure. What you need to understand is that Usakos is a transit town to the port of Wolfish Bay, uh, uh, as well as from the port of Wolfish Bay. So we have a lot of uh, traffic yes. passing through town and that keeps our town alive, so to say. A um, majority of our people equally relies on uh, 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 um, informal traders who make a living from selling uh, 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 daily goodies that people need and so forth. Yes. Now with COVID-19, with all the restrictions and, and so forth, all these uh, activities have to come to a standstill. People yes. have to stay home. Uh, the council could also not uh, uh, collect the much needed rates and taxes yes. due to the fact that most of the people were not working and, and, and so forth. Despite that, uh, uh, um, somehow we, we, we somehow uh, 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 things started now normalizing and, and, up again. And, 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 and business is picking up, the town is picking up and so forth and, and most of these people are now back uh, at, at, at their informal trading areas, businesses yes. are now opening up and so on. Uh, we, we are very much grateful with the assistance that we received through the, the governor's office from the prime minister's office mm -hmm. where we had to uh, to try and at least give out food parcels to our people who were, were affected. Yes. We had uh, uh, private companies that also came on board. We had uh, individuals, children of Usakos, who took it upon themselves to say we can't leave the town uh, just like that. Let's see how deep we can go in our pockets mm -hmm. and at least try by all means to, 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 to assist our fellow citizens of 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 of, of, of Usakos. Yes. Um, council, on the other hand, also felt that it's it's high time because uh, COVID goes and in and with hygiene. Yes. People need to wash their hands and, and so forth. So we we tried by all means to open all taps. Hmm. Those uh, who had their water disconnected, we reconnected them. We provided water in our informal settlements. So these are some of the interventions that we had. We even had to go as far as giving out hand sanitizers, disinfectants, masks, yes. and, and, and so forth to our community, especially to, 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 to uh, churches, the, 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 the uh, kindergartens, the schools, and some youth groups and so on, just to try and 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 and, and, and mitigate the impact of, of COVID on our people. Yeah, and then uh, if uh, uh, we can maybe elaborate on uh, any positive developments for your town. Yes, uh, uh, yes, there are. We we need to understand that uh, the town council is in a service delivery uh, uh, business, so to say. Yes, uh, we we try by all means to keep up with with service delivery. And in turn, you create a conducive environment in order for you to attract investors to your town. Um, we have tried by all means to upgrade our infrastructure because that is one key factor or component that investors look at. Mm. You need to have good roads, you need to have reliable supply of water and mm. sewer services. Your electrical uh, network should be of, of, of good standard, your communication and, and, and so forth. So in that area, council has done uh, really a, a lot. Yes. Um, with regard to, to, to private investments, uh, uh, if, if one looks at the town now, back in the days we had a lot of shops that closed, but but uh, today uh, our, our all our uh, businesses that were closed in Usagos are now operating. Mm -hmm. We at least have uh, 
um, um, products people can now access goods and services that they couldn't access really in Lusaka. So yes. back in the days, people had to travel to to, to other towns, Sokobun, Vinduk, uh, or nearby in Kariweb to, to yes. even just procure or buy uh, groceries and so forth. Mm. But of, of, of late, at least, we have a bigger supermarket now in, in town that offers almost everything that people need. Uh, um, we have the doctors that are operating now here in town. Mm. We have uh, uh, um, uh, accommodation facilities that, that, that they've opened a lot yes, of them, so yes. people uh, at least have a reason to, to stop over and sleep over within within Usakos and so forth. Mm. And then on the other hand also, as we speak, uh, there is a big project that is currently ongoing, which is the, the, the upgrade of the Kranzberg Wolfish Bay Railway. Mm. The, 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 the contractors are based in Usakos, yes. so they've somehow created some jobs and given hope wow. to, to, to our people. They will be here for 24 months. Mm. Uh, um, so that's something very positive in the sense that uh, at least uh, 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 people get the jobs, the buying power will be there, people will be able to pay for, for their water services, people will be able to at least put bread on their tables and so on. Yes. On, on the other hand, council is currently busy uh, servicing land yes. to ensure that we, 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 we address the issue of, of, of land delivery. Uh, we are also <clears throat> in the process of... Uh, uh, um, uh, um, negotiating with some investors who uh, would want to put up a shopping complex, they've they, they've received the land. They are they are they are in the final stage of of, of starting with with with, with that project. Yes. We we had two bigger projects that were currently underway: uh, charcoal mm. that created a, a great number of jobs for our people. Okay. Even though the location where they were they st initially started. Uh, was in the center of town hmm. and uh, some discontent developed but then yes. we, we have given them land and they have moved uh, 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 away from the residential area so <clears throat> they have started their operations and then at least our people have, have gotten jobs there. Yes. We, we had a, a brilliant project, a promising project that would have created uh, over a thousand six hundred jobs which sure. is the MDL uh, uh, fuel st storage uh, unfortunately, uh, things did not go as, as planned, yes. so to say. Uh, they finished the, the, the first phase, which was the logistical uh, setup. But then in between uh, um, the vandalism okay. <clears throat> and theft came in and people almost ran down the whole, the whole facility that was put up. Oh. That was an investment of almost 20 million that has gone down and that's very, very, very sad. Yes. But the owners are still hopeful. Yes, they've uh, promised to say, "Okay, fine." They will still come back because they feel Usagos is the right place where they they, they, they can they can uh, set up their their, their business. Oh. Now you, you need to understand one thing when we talk about Usagos. Usagos is a it's a, it's a it's a railway town. It's yes. originated as a result of railway activities and so yes. forth. We we still have an ongoing uh, process that we will have to finalize. That is with Transnami because currently they own. Uh, 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 massive tracts of land within yes. Osakos, and that really affects the progress of our town okay. when it comes to, to, to development. Because w w investors who want to put up their, their, their businesses in a favorable area that yes. is close to, 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 to the infrastructure and roads and so on. And we sit with uh, large tracts of land that are unoccupied, un unutilized, and they belong to Transamib. Okay. Council has been in negotiation with Transamib for some time now. At least now we are seeing some positive development. So we believe uh, with the council that will come in uh, after the, the regional and local authority elections, they will take this process further. Yes. And hopefully that negotiation will be uh, concluded. Mm. One other positive uh, uh, thing that I want to add on is that uh, um, Usakos is among the very few towns that have their own water sources. Yes. We Back in the days, we heavily depended on, on, on Nam water. We, we built up a huge debt with Nam water to an extent that at times they will threaten to, to disconnect the supply of water to Sakos. Sure. And uh, uh, um, as a result, we took a deliberate decision to say, why don't we try by all means to connect all our suburbs from our own water sources? Mm. And we, have, we were very much successful with that. So today, we can pride ourselves to say, we are no longer dependent on Nam water. At least we, 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 we keep them on standby in yes. case if uh, anything 
happens to our infrastructure, we always uh, will always open their 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 taps. Mm -hmm. But for now, we we can pride ourselves to say at least we are supplying the whole town with our own with water, water. Yes, wow. with our own water sources. Yes, um, <coughs> we 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 council signed a a a, a tripartite agreement uh, between the towns of Usako, Skarabe, and Omaruru. Yes, and uh, Arandes equally wants to join uh, the the the. the the, 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 the trapartite agreement in the yes. sense that we we'll want to assist one another. I mean, yes. we are all uh, local authorities. We are not in competition. Yes. And where we lack, we can get that assistance from the, the other town. Supplement one another. Exactly. So that that is one other positive thing that we have that that, that we have achieved. Mm. And then on the other hand, also today we are sitting in a in a modern administrative block. Mm. So it's a new building that that council built. Now this area where the office is built used to be called an old location. This was the first area where our people settled yes. when 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 uh, back in the days. And then they were moved on the other end of, 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 of town. We, we, we want to see to it that uh, this area gets developed. Mm -hmm. A mixed development is planned. We're, we're looking at housing, uh, business, mm -hmm. and, and, and institutional plots that, that, that we'll want to, 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 to have here. We have uh, so far also <coughs> allocated uh, land to private developers who are planning to, to, to build uh, modern houses. Um, the, there is a new extension that the, the, it, it, it's planned already. The, the uh, environmental impact assessment is, is finalized, so we are just yes. waiting for the NAMPA approvals, and then the, the, the construction process will start. Hopefully, uh, early during the first quarter of next year, yes. they will start constructing uh, houses. Now, uh, if, if you look at uh, the housing need in Nusako, there is a dire need for housing in Nusako, in the sense that we have uh, public uh, uh, servants, yes. teachers, nurses, uh, police officers and people who are working for, 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 for government institutions. We have uh, people who are in the private sector, mine employees, we have people who... who <clears throat> and then all these people can afford mm -hmm. modern housing. Yes. Yeah, so so these are some of the areas that we are looking at. We, we want to avoid a situation where uh, people leave Usakos because of the fact that they can't find accommodation, accommodation. Yes. And, and, and and as we speak now there is there is a high demand for accommodation uh, just the the, the 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 project that is currently underway the the, the railway rehabilitation project uh, there is an influx of of, of almost 500 people wow. that have moved to Sakos yes. in a short period of time so uh, you just need to understand as to the demand yes, for, for, housing. For, for housing sure. that it puts on our town and so on so uh, this is something that we need this is something that we really need to try by all means and and, and, and attend to as a matter of, 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 of agency mm -hmm. but uh, other than that uh, um, um, Things might not have gone as, as, as we have planned. Mm -hmm. 2020, uh, our, our development plans were impacted by, by, by COVID. It slowed yes. down yes. Uh, progress and so on. Yes. But now that things started picking up, I think we are trying to catch up with, 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 with speed. Yes. At this point in time, Council is in the process of, of, of implementing the decongestion plan. Mm -hmm. We want to decongest our two informal settlements. We have two informal settlements, uh, Ngulumbashe and, and, and Samstan. Yes. We received uh, uh, assistance from NAST mm -hmm. with uh, uh, students who are in the areas of, of, of land management, uh, um, town planning and so forth and they are working together with our technical manager to uh, plan and develop uh, uh, over 270 plots, residential yes. plots. Yes. And uh, they, those plots are earmarked for our people who are in the informal settlements and those that are also in need of land. Okay. Yes. How so, many people will benefit? Uh, okay. I initially, we planned for two hundred and seventy. Yes. But uh, when the the, the 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 student came on the ground, they realized that we can we can we can have more. Yes. So hopefully, we are looking at uh, five hundred uh, uh, people or families, so yes. to say, that, that 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 will benefit from this initiative. Yes. Now, one thing that I also would want to stress is that. <clears throat> um, Land, land has become so expensive. Now, I can pride myself to say Usakos is probably one of the towns where we offered land to our residents on a subsidized price. Yes. We, we, we uh, offered residential land in Nagasep uh, 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 with a price range between uh, um, 9000 and 11000 
looking at uh, 500 or 600 square meters. Yes. And then in Erongoseg, we, we have given land with a pri between the price range of, of 14, I mean, I mean 11 to 14,000. Okay. Uh, service land for yes. that matter. Yes. Uh, uh, and and we, we were talking about 600 to 800 square meters uh, of yes. the residential uh, plot, yeah, yes. that you will find nowhere. Wow. We we've, for instance, also offered land to our build together beneficiaries at a price of 1,500. A plot. This is trying to meet our people at least halfway. Yes. We have given land to 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 the uh, federation, the Shark Dwellers Federation. Yes. Uh, for free. Yes. For free, for in order for their for their members to to be able to build their their, their houses. So these are some of the interventions that council has, has really tried yes. uh, to to help our people with in order for us to address the issue of of of, of, of land delivery and and housing. Yes. Yeah. In terms of. Uh, your message to investors, what would that be? My message to investors is that uh, Usakos is the right place for one to, 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 to put up your, your, your business or, uh, and so forth. In the sense that uh, Usakos can link you to the, to the, to the port of Wolfish Bay. Mm. You, we have uh, rail infrastructure. The road passes through our town. It can even link you to the northern part of, of our country, the capital city. And, and down to yes. uh, to the south. Um, this is a very peaceful town, very peaceful. The crime rate is is, is, is very low, and, and 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 the cost of living is also much more lower compared yes. to, to 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 the bigger towns and and and, and so forth. And, and 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 our message to the investors is that we want to meet them also halfway. Yes, we 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 we, we somehow have land available. And we are looking at uh, finding situation. Uh, I mean, solutions to say you, you you get the land, you put it up. You at times don't need to pay for it for that matter, yes. or you, you are not under pressure to pay for it. What we are looking at is long term benefits for our people. Employment creation will at least recoup those yes. costs through the rates and taxes that these uh, companies will 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 will, will, will pay. Okay. So uh, uh, I still believe that Usagos is the right place. Where investors can come and 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 and, and settle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that we are heading for the elections. Will you be re uh, running again? Uh, I won't. I won't be running again. Mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that I think uh, I've served two terms, okay. which is ten years, and I believe that's more than enough. It's, it's uh, by time that one gives an opportunity to others to come and improve where we couldn't really uh, improve and then also for them to come and focus on other areas that we probably might have uh, left out. So I will want to wish uh, those that are incoming all the best and I believe that they will take this town to greater heights. Thank you so much, sir. You are more than welcome. Now for the fishing report. According to Grumpy, the long-awaited and much-anticipated arrival of the snook finally materialized, with this delicious delicacy being caught by the deck loads. A deck load is a maximum capacity a boat or a vessel can carry, with this fish being caught from ski boats far out, sometimes as far as 50 kilometers from the shore at sea. Grumpy says these are aggressive feeders. Once they start and can be caught throw by throw, Imagine how quickly they would demolish a school of horse mackerel or sardines. This is great news for the fishing industry, with a lot of fishermen depending on the snook season to survive. The legal limit per person is 25 snook per day. In Swakopmund, the ski boats launch from the mole, rather early weather permitting. Once the snooks get caught, and one needs to, then one needs to break its neck, otherwise the blood spoils the flesh of the fish and results in, as the anglers call this phenomenon, a pop snook in Afrikaans. Yeah, although still edible, but the taste isn't, uh, uh, isn't as delicious as it should be. Another trick that the anglers use is to salt the snook for about 20 minutes to give the flesh firmness. They use core salt for this purpose, which is easier washed off later. The cop are still plentiful at the Winston Rack, 
with reports of fish up to 18 kilograms being caught. Adrisagat and Maklegat, as well as Wurrungbai and Canopy, also produced good catches. Not to be outdone was Mal 72, with Kop and Steenbras being reeled in. Big Colstert and Galjoen, up to 2.5 kilograms, were also caught at the Winston. The majority of fish landed were, however, Kop. Adrian Steenkamp from Benguela Angling Club tried his luck at shark fishing with mackerel head at Mile 100 Bay. After a mammoth fight of two hours, Adrian succeeded in landing his personal best bronze whaler of 191 centimeters. Crumpy says the conditions for the upcoming week looks good with uh, the first part of the week accompanied by strong southwesterly winds. The wave height will also stay favorable for cop fishing. And that is your fishing report for today. And now for your weather and the tides. The sun was out between 8 minutes past 6 and 14 minutes past 6 and will set between 19 minutes to 7 and 21 minutes past 7 for all major towns in the Irongo region. The first low tide arrived at 5 o'clock with the second low tide due at 10 to 6. The first high tide arrived at half past 11 with a second high tide due at 10 past 12. So the best times to go fishing today is between 23 minutes past 6 and 25 minutes past 7. Wolfers Bay will experience a maximum of 21 with a 13 km per hour strong westerly wind today with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 19 predicted for tomorrow. Swakopmund will experience a maximum of 18 with an 11 km per hour strong westerly wind today with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 18 predicted for tomorrow. Hentis will experience a maximum of 18 and an 11 km per hour strong south southwesterly wind today with a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 19 predicted for tomorrow. Arandas will experience a maximum of 29 with a 13 km per hour strong southwesterly wind today with a minimum of 11 and a maximum of 28 predicted for tomorrow. And moving inland, Usakos will experience a maximum of 39 which is very hot with a 13 km per hour strong southern wind today with a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 39 predicted for tomorrow. Karibab will experience a maximum of also very hot 38 with a 13 km per hour strong northwesterly wind today with a minimum of 17 and a maximum of 39 predicted for tomorrow. And finally, Omaruru will experience a very hot maximum of 39 with an 11 km per hour strong southwesterly wind today with a minimum of 15 and a maximum of 39 predicted for tomorrow. And that concludes your tides and the weather predictions. Yes, I hope you've enjoyed the content of today's show. You're most welcome to join our family of over 70,000 online followers. Go like and then click on the links on our Facebook page to access any of the stories we talked about information about services as well as adverts on our website and if you are in need to advertise or promote a product or your company this is definitely the place for you to be so if you want to put your business on the map send us a whatsapp at 08117 I repeat that number 08117 uh, and we will get in touch with you you are also most welcome to drop us clips of what's happening in your community. Remember, COVID-19 is still amongst us, so protect yourself, stay sanitized, and keep your social distancing. Cheerio.